Now that MP3 patents have lapsed, it's much easier to get files out of ferrite in MP3 format. To tag your file, you tap the info button on the project. You can give it a name that will also be the title. You can give it artwork. Now, I've already got artwork in here, but you can get it from your photo library by tapping. But an even better way to do it is to get it from your files via the Files app, and that can be Dropbox or any other service you've gotten files. Here I've got a Dropbox folder full of podcast art, and I'm literally just going to drag in some art and let go, and boom, the art is replaced, and that's going to go out in the MP3 from Ferrite when we export it. Next up is chapter markers, which you can also now add using Ferrite. I'm going to add three chapter markers to this episode. First, I'm going to go back to the very beginning, and then I'm going to open from the final mix pop-up. There is an edit mp3 chapters button, and then I can press the plus button, and it will set something on the timeline. I'll move the timeline and press the plus button again. Boom, we're going to add another chapter here. Yep, there it is. Tap on the I button, and I can fill out the name of the chapter. I can put in a link and custom artwork for this chapter if I want to. And then when I'm done, I back out. I can still move my timeline. You'll see that the chapter name actually appears at the very top of the window when I add a chapter. Tap plus, chapter three is there. Tap the I button and enter in a new chapter name. And in this case, I'm going to do a sponsor. And so I'm also going to tap into the link area and put in a hyperlink. And this will all play in any podcast player that supports MP3 chapters when all is said and done. Ferrite has a feature that will keep all of your audio relatively the same volume. It's also available in the Final Mix button. It's called Auto Leveling. Set it to regular and your volumes will all get smoothed out on export. Now, how to set Ferrite to export an MP3 file? You go to the Settings menu out in the main menu and then scroll down. You'll find the export format. You can choose MP3, you can choose mono or stereo from various bit rates. I recommend Mono 64 CBR for most purposes. Okay, now time to get the file on the server. I have to export it. I'm going to choose the open in command from the share menu, which is going to take a very long time to render that file and encode it as an MP3. And then it'll let me choose what app I want to open that file in. Choose the thing you're going to use to transfer that file where you want it to go. In my case, I'm going to use an app called File Browser, which not only connects with the Files app, but also has access to FTP servers, which is where I'm going in this case, an FTP server. File Browser will automatically open. It will actually tell me that I need to use its paste interface to put it where I want it to go. I will navigate to my FTP server, choose paste item. It uploads the file. At that point, it's still named the title. That's something Fairwrite does is it uses the title tag. So I'll change it to my proper file name. And at that point, my file is up in the right place on my FTP server, ready to be downloaded.